Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on the Death March difficulty. Today we are going to do the Wild at Heart quest. Uh, there's a hunter named Nilin here and he wants a bit of help in finding his missing wife who went missing in the woods uh, while she was gathering supplies. So uh, let's kick this off, shall we? Looking for a hunter named Neelan. Found him. What do you want? Hear about your notice. I'm a witcher. When did you last see your wife? Five days past, before dawn. On my way out to hunt, she were asleep. We come back, found no sign of her. So I take back a few things. Apparently, she went missing while inside her own home. So that's then things strange. Notice anything strange? Maybe her behavior? No. She were a happy, smiling self. Nothing different of late. She's not run off, if that's what you're asking. Hmm. So, have you tried looking for her? Maybe she went to the neighboring village and forgot to tell you. No. My sister were never gone this long before. Tried looking for her? Asked around the village, none saw her though. She must have left when they were still sleeping. Told her time and again not to wander off on her own. She never listened. I must have some men folk to scour the woods. Nothing. So we've got the woman's husband, Nilan, and then her sister apparently, who also butted into the conversation. I'll look in the woods. You might have missed something. Ask around too. She have any friends? Hannah kept keeps to herself mostly. Watches the blacksmith's youngins at times. And in the village, Glenna, the butcher's wife, she likes her best. Thanks. I'll try to find her, but no promises. So that was a weird slip up. Margaret here was talking about her sister in the past tense already. She either lost hope really quickly or something else is going on. Something she is not telling us. But let's try and find out more. Hello, Glenna. Greetings, you Glenna. Hi. The gristle and marrow is all I'm willing to sell, and you'll have to wait till I'm done carving it. Okay. You the butcher's wife? Butcher? Please. Might have called him a butcher when we lived in the shade of Novigrad's walls. Now he deals in carrion, fallen animals, their bones still fit for soup. So, buying something? Not really, we're here for a bit of information. Wanted to talk to you about Hannah. Hear you were friendly. She come by at times? We talk? She seems strange lately. Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. Strange. No? A cheerful soul always. If I'm to judge, it's the wolves got her. Been howling the nights through lately. Even the Baron's men are feared to come by. Hannah must have gone to the wood to gather mushrooms, maybe. Straight too deep and the howlers got her. Well, that's one theory anyway, so thank you. Thanks. Farewell. Lana. Nice redhead. On to the next neighbor. Wow. My dad used to make swords like yours. Can I touch it? Is that it's the sharp. same kid from Need to talk near to the father. fisherman? That's weird. I fought swords once. Now it's sides and O's. For good arms, you'll need to go to Novigrad. Well, we're here to talk about your neighbor. Wanted to ask you about Hannah. Heard she looked after your children. Uh, Hannah? Do you know where she is? No, that's why I'm here. She maybe tell you where she was going, or anything else? Mm. She said turnips are healthy, and we ought to eat them. I saw her go to the forest, with another lady. It was dawn almost. I'd gone out so I wouldn't wet the pallet. The forest? She's done for. Why? A huge pack roams the area. None from the village dares go in the forest. Neelan's only one not afeared, but then he's a hunter. So that was interesting that what that kid said. He saw her leave towards the forest with Thanks. a woman. Farewell. So we have two suspects in that, either her what? sister or the... Glenna, the butcher's wife. Time to water the horses. 
So let's head towards the woods and see what we can find out over there. So we've been in these woods before, it's the same uh, forest that we went through with the pallor. And there's a graveyard here apparently. But let's cut through. Seems like we already found our wolf pack. But first, let's see if we can't find anything regarding Hannah. They're right in the middle here. I'm gonna try and bomb them beforehand. There we go. What now, you piece of <laughs> So that takes care of a few of them. So that's the wolf pack taken care of. Pretty efficiently, What's if your... I say so myself. Okay. What are you doing here? Shouldn't be in the forest alone. I came to tell you. You needn't look for Hannah. She'd have returned long past were she alive. I'll pay you twice Neilan's pledge. Just tell the man his Hannah's dead. Oh, that's suspicious. I've no illusions, Witcher. In Velen, you're gone as long as she's been. You don't come back. Hannah's dead for certain. Neilan ought to accept his loss. Move on with his life. She was living in the same house as the man, so uh, this is starting to smell really fishy. Strange. People usually prefer to know the fate of their loved ones, whatever the cost. What good will it do? I'll not get my sister back. And Neilan's all I got left. I can't lose him too. And, well, he'll not rest till he avenges his Hannah, even if it eats up his life. The man deserves better. So that sounds like motive to me. I'll find her anyway. Sorry, not in the habit of leaving jobs undone. Folks speak true about you witchers. You're heartless beasts. That does sound like the opposite of what I just told you. So, looted the wolves, meditated for a bit to restock, and then let's check this out. No man did this. They got a dog. Hmm. Cuts. Made with long claws. Flesh torn clear off. Hmm. Long claws doesn't sound this like This is getting interesting. There's also something else here. Large scuff marks. Claw marks. Deep. That was a bee in my ear. Okay, let's try and follow these. If they go anywhere anyway. Nope. Nope, that's my armor. Must be a of a rotting corpse, torn to pieces by the all around. Okay, so no doubt about it. Gotta be careful. Amidst all that, we can assume that this pile of giblets is what's left of Hannah. So we found her, but since there's a werewolf on the prowl, it's best to keep everything in check and take it out before anything else happens. There's something weird about this rock. Blood and palm marks. Wonder where they lead. Leave. Shit, climb the tree. Up the I tree. Can't get up there. Maybe find something else on the ground. So there's a lot of branches sticking out of the tree, but we should follow the thickest one, I would think. Oh, Tough there we go. Fur. Uh, whatever lost it hasn't bathed in a while. 
That's one thing. Oh, there we go. We have a smelt race. And where does that lead to? Through this tree, apparently. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. I would have loved that hangman's venom by now. Man's clothes. Shredded, but no sign of blood. Who rips their own clothes off, leaves them in the woods? So that leads us to this house. Looks like a hunter's quarters. Hunter's quarters? So that leads towards the hunter's shack of what we can only assume is Nilan himself. It's getting interesting and interesting. Fifty leather straps, hello. Talking about looting. Locked key required. Notes. Mm -hmm. Wonder whose. So we found some notes by the bed. I am who I am. I can't change that. Shirts woven of parsley and potions made of virgin steers might work on old wives' tales, but not for me. It is time to come to terms with it. With Hannah's love and iron discipline, I have found a way to manage. But I must remember to hide in the woods before the full moon rises. To go somewhere far from others, far from Hannah. The attack comes and then passes. I wake up with wounds in my hands and the taste of blood in my mouth. Perhaps it is for the best that I don't remember. Killing prey with bow and arrow is one thing, to tear it apart with fang and claw. At least here, deep in the woods, I won't hurt any people. Merciful militarily, watch over any who stray too close. So this kind of confirms that Milan is the werewolf that killed Hannah. But is that all there is to it? Because it's still kind of suspicious that her sister asks us not to uh, comply by finding out what really is happening. So, according to the map, there's a cave right below this house. We're gonna have to try and find out where that is exactly. Okay, and then there's a bear. So it's a good way to practice, I suppose. Let's do this. Hello, bear. And there goes the bear. No bear fat, sadly enough, for uh, the hangman's venom. I would have been able to use that. So there seems to be something below the house and wow this is a uh, hmm. by the structure it's just barely dried he was dragged here wonder where from so first gonna quickly check up on my werewolf knowledge well, so apparently since I uh, as Geralt didn't uh, encounter any werewolves yet I don't have an entry for werewolves but since wolves are weak to beast oil, I'm gonna suppose werewolves are as well. So let's put that on our sword now, shall we? Good news everyone, I don't have any beast oil. So I'm gonna have to do this solo. There we go. Or not. There we go. There's clearly something in here. I'm gonna take Igni in hand to melt its armor away. Two wolves! Which I wanna take care of first. Because I don't wanna be fighting this thing out in the open. Can I go away here? Because this thing is whooping my ass. 
Okay, okay, he's running back again. That's the wolf down. Still got the grape shot equipped. Okay, apparently not weak for Igni. So, start rolling under his attacks. Seems to be a great tactic. He slowed down anyway. There was a shield active there. He doesn't seem to care. Man, it's dark in here. And now he's healing. And I can't seem to be putting him on fire. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Ooh, that's bad, that's bad. There we go. Okay. Ah. Ooh, now we're lucky. I'm not gonna let this one slip. There we go, okay, be very, very aggressive. I lost the grape shield in his face. No! Stop! Don't harm him! And there we have the sister. Think we need to talk. It's Nayland! Yeah, we know. Lycanthropy can afflict anyone, but it is a curse, so sorry, but I have to. You don't understand! I love him! He was near to being mine till you came along. Go away! Leave us be! So, what are you saying exactly? Not till I find out what's going on here. I love him. Always have. Even after I'd learned his secret. You... You knew? Did you know I shot myself in here to wait out me change? And there I we have knew, a talking werewolf. And I didn't mind. But you chose Hannah. I wanted her to see you. I wanted her to fear you. She'd not have stayed. And we could be together. You brought her here. That night. It was the reason I had the taste of blood in me mouth come As we read in his and notes. And did it for us. She was to see you turn, not more. I didn't want her death. You've got to believe me! I don't. And I'll kill you willingly. First time for that, in fact. So, he has a grain of consciousness in there. And uh, I think she deserves that for killing a sister like that. This is between the two of you. I refuse to meddle. But cross my path again, and I will kill you. No! You had no mercy for your sister. I'll have none for you. Uh, 
And that's the end of her. Told you I'd kill you. I know as well what you said. And Nilan feels it. sorry for what he did. If you want death, can't live with find himself. Some rains and a tree with a strong limb. Wouldn't work. Couldn't do it. Always been a coward. Do it, please. And we'll uh go forward with his last request. And we got level eight for that. So we can get his key to access his uh, his chest in his house. But I'm gonna check out maybe a bit more of it if we can find anything on the the other woman. I think her name was Bridget. The corpse here. Oh, that's a dead cow. <laughs> And there she is, dead. Okay, so let's, uh, oh wait, there's a little side room here. Ooh, and a chest. Steel place, okay, that was a little uh, anticlimactic, but uh, let's head back to the surface and check out his chest. Which is actually just uh, the major part of the reward you get from this quest, so uh, it's not really stealing because you didn't get paid for the job. And then we need to get the chest in here, I think it was. Yeah, there we go. Hunting trousers, silver ore, and the Shiadal's armor diagram. Nothing too spectacular, but uh, that's another quest done. And another sad story about a twisted. Love cycle, love triangle actually. So we're gonna level up. Guess where that points is going into. Melt armor, continuing that. We've seen the effect on the werewolf uh, a while ago, so uh, a moment ago. So we're gonna keep upgrading that. We have another slot available, and since we have a skill that we haven't used in a while, the arrow reflection. I'm gonna put that in there so we can uh, parry arrows back at bowmen because that might be handy when we come across more humanoid enemies in the future. The hunting trousers are uh, a lot worse by the way as you can see so uh, we're not gonna bother with those. Sadly Nilan doesn't give us a werewolf mutagen to uh, be used in a werewolf decoction. Not that the decoction is that useful but it would be nice to uh, complete the collection so and with that i'm gonna end it here so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more i hope to see you guys next time and thank you enormously for watching goodbye <laughs>